Hello students and welcome to Education 1300, our learning frameworks class, and welcome to our Blackboard show. What I'd like to do in this tutorial video is just give you an overview of how you're going to go about navigating this course, navigating Blackboard, including this first week of classes. So I'm going to walk you through this eight area that's labeled course content, which is also everything that appears here below. And I'm also going to walk you through what appears here and at the very top, which it doesn't have a label, but we're going to call it the course menu. And we're also going to look at the section over here that's called details and action. So for this first week of classes, please take all the time and all the energy that you need to really read read everything, especially here in the start here area, the start here folder, because it's going to give you a really great grounding for the semester. So what is here in the start here folder, go ahead and click on that, let it open up and you will see a bunch of information comes out and is available. So again, take that time and energy and try to absorb everything, read it, watch any videos that come available. So let's start by opening the welcome uh, folder. And in here is information about me, just to get to, uh, to know your professor a little bit better, including some information about me professionally and personally. There's information about my office hours and so forth. So it welcomes you to the course. It tells you a little bit of information about me and also about the education department and my colleagues. All right, what's next is the essential course information folder. So go ahead in here, spend a good amount of en energy and time. So in here is obviously some critical information, including the description of this course. And also, if you scroll down, you'll notice it says required textbook and materials. Now this is an OER course, which means open educational resources. So if you see there is is a free textbook associated with this course. I've highlighted what that free textbook is and if you read how to go about getting that free textbook which is embedded in the course the entire time but that is the name of our textbook okay. If you keep on scrolling down you'll notice that there is a big section called what do you need to know about this course and what follows is 10 very important guidelines. You need to read these um, about our course and also if you continue reading down there are some additional expectations there are faculty expectations for you all as students and there are some expectations of what you should expect from me as your professor all right the next section the syllabus calendar and policies of course two very critical pieces of information that i have available to you so let's go into that section so you can see here the syllabus is available to you not only in the concourse format but also in a microsoft word format you also can scroll down and see that the course calendar is available as a microsoft word document but it's also obviously the uh, calendar is available in the syllabus so i would recommend that you print out the syllabus and the calendar and always have those available to you as we go through the weeks and the months ahead. If you scroll down a little bit, you'll see there's additional information. Um, but um, it, be aware that there are some, so many important details associated with class times and study times in college. So this video is incredibly important uh, to you. So please be aware of that information here in this uh, section. Now, in addition, if we come back out to this section, the next two resources are support resources for you here at the college. The first one is Blackboard Health and Support, uh, the Dis Digital Learning Department, and the second one is additional services and resources to help you be successful at the college, whether that is advising, counseling, financial aid, the CLE, the library, the list goes on. So both of these are clickable links to help you and assist you at the college to be successful. And the last thing is, of course, the privacy statements at the college. 
Now, in summary, the Start Here folder, it is going to be available to you in the entire semester. So after we close this folder, don't think it's just gonna be available during week one. It's available to you all throughout the semester, but do spend that time and energy this first week of classes studying, reading, watching. Uh, but the most important part of this entire Start Here folder, of course, would be the syllabus calendar, but also the essential course information with the those 10 important guidelines in it and those expectations. For now, I'm going to go ahead and close that Start Here folder and I'm going to show what's available under the Start Here folder, some resources to help you be successful. So the first one is a link to distance education or the digital learning department. I am going to open up that link to show you this is support for online students or students enrolled in traditional classes and of course you have this online component. So these are there are all sorts of resources to help you be successful in the Blackboard shell, including things like passwords, um, orientations, um, ch chatting with distance education, calling them, um, it, online services to be in contact with the digital learning department. So realize that resource is available. And also, we do not have graded discussion boards in our course. You might in other courses, but this is if you need help with any of the content available in our shells and also if you have any problems with maybe a link not working and so forth. So this is to chat with me as the instructor but also your classmates can help you. So that is also available for you. So that is under the Start Here folder. Now as we progress in the course, this is the course content section, you can see that the weeks will emerge as the dates emerge as the, as the semester progresses from week one all the way to the finals week of the semester okay now we're going to start with week one so as we open the week one folder the first thing that you'll notice is you have something called the weekly overview course learning outcomes to do list and deadlines you'll see this in all of your courses now many students want to jump into the work right the assignments the quizzes the padlets the discussions the journals now, do not do that in any of your courses because what you're supposed to do is you're supposed to always open this weekly overview document first. So the first step is always to open this, not to dive into the work. The question becomes, how can you take a quiz if you haven't read your textbook, if you haven't watched videos, if you haven't done the assignments, if you haven't done the required readings, videos, um, the, the groundwork, you can't take quizzes and do assignments yet. So always start by opening that weekly overview first. When you do, you'll first be greeted with the picture. There'll be a paragraph explaining the week. You'll see the course learning outcomes. Those will always be the same every week because it explains what you need to know and be able to do um, by the time we've graduated from this course. The weekly learning objectives will vary every week and this explains what you should know and be able to do each week. It's kind of a checklist. After you finish the week, go back and read. And if you can answer those questions, then you have done well as far as the week is concerned. You'll see Calvin and Hobbes, my favorite cartoon, every week. And then is your to-do list. Now this first week, it might look a little overwhelming because we're not only getting ourselves grounded in the Start Here folder, but we also have the Week 1 folder. So this week it's a little bit longer than it usually is, but it's just to get us um, well informed for the week. The to-do list is then broken up into what the lectures and the reading assignments are, the graded assignments, and the audio and video for the first week. So let's look at that. Anytime you have a blue underlined hyperlink, that means it's something that you click on and you go to. For example, I'm gonna click on my professional biography. When we click on that, it will take us to something additional that we can read and view. Okay, if I click on your textbook, it's your OER textbook, right? Now, when I click on that, it's going to take me to something, right? I'm going to have to log in, obviously, so be patient with me for just a second because it's making me log on to STC's website. So I'm going to log in. You all are going to have to do this as well. It's going to ask me to sign in. I'm signing in. It's doing authentication right now. So it's sending me a push to my cell phone to verify I am who I say I am. I'm verifying my identity. 
identity. I'm approving of that. And as it does, it's taking me and it will also take you to our OER textbook and you're gonna read that chapter 10, right? A select part of chapter 10. Your assignments for the week are listed out and these are your audio or videos. When you click on these blue hyperlinks, you can listen to, for example, uh, what you're listening to right now is on my YouTube channel, right? And then there'll be some additional notes, some deadlines and so forth. Your week will always end with a motivational quote at the end. Once you have finished all of that, you can actually go and do the assignments for the week. Now, week one is a little shorter because I don't want to overwhelm you for the week one. You'll do a Padlet and a quiz for week one, but other weeks you'll have perhaps reflective journals, activities, and so forth, right? So you can dive into the work. So that's how it will work every week. A new week will appear. You'll have your weekly overview. You'll have your assignments. Now let's go up to the top again and just review in your course menu what else is available. The calendar is a good check on yourself to make sure of the due dates, uh, the deadlines, and what is due that week. The announcements is also great, guys, because this is incredibly important. I announce things all the time. Um, don't ignore the announcements from me, your professor, other professors because it's like us tapping you on the shoulder saying hey 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 pay attention to me it's where we're telling you important information it's not optional it's required discussions in this class we're not having graded discussions but it's an area where we can post things to chat about the grade book obviously incredibly important your grades appear here i update them on a weekly basis if i ever need longer I'll let you know, but I keep up with grades on a weekly basis. You'll have your total points, percentage, and grade. I also give feedback, so look for that little feedback icon. The messages. This is our email system built in Blackboard. We can email each other, professor to student. You can also email your classmates. You can email select classmates. Again, the email section is not optional, so if you get an email from me as your professor, make sure you read and respond it respond to it. Do not worry about the analytics and the group. Now, down here on the left-hand side, yes, you can see the roster of who's in your course, but the most important section is the attendance. So this is a face-to-face -face class. So obviously we're meeting on either Monday, Wednesday, or Tuesday, Thursday. So you need to attend your in-person class and I will be taking attendance and that will appear on here. So you will see there is a required component of the class that means that you need to be attending in person. So check your syllabus for that rule. But you also need to be submitting your assignments Sunday by noon, and that is part of your attendance too. So you get counted for attending by submitting your work to be graded by Sunday at noon. And if you don't submit something for grading by that time, you also get that docked from your attendance. So make sure you're submitting your work in the online component so you can get dropped from your classes by not submitting your work. There is no live attendance by um, for uh, Sunday at noon, so we don't have Zoom or Microsoft Teams or Blackboard Collaborate, so you don't have to worry about that, but you do need to attend mon uh, either Monday, Wednesday, Tuesday, Thursday in person, but you also need to submit your work, your graded work Sundays at noon. So you all, that is an overview of Blackboard. I hope this tutorial helps you, but if at any point you have any questions, don't hesitate to reach out and ask me, but also Blackboard and the digital learning department, they have hundreds of videos posted. They have tutorials, they have videos, they have trainings helping you understand how Blackboard works. I hope you have fun learning how to use this tool for educational purposes. So happy Blackboarding and happy learning.